Good morning, fellow students. There has been unfortunate events in the past few years, such as COVID lockdowns and COVID itself, which has created ripple effects towards mental health. And that has caused BCE students to suffer through the unbearable and tedious Zoom classes. It's as if home and education do not blend well together and that isolation is taking quite a toll amongst them since loneliness has ruined their mentality. And this is why it is exponentially vital that VCAA should be more lenient towards VCE students. And why is that exactly? Well, because frequent COVID lockdowns and its restrictions have had a major impact on many BC students in a negative way, as it is very detrimental to their overall mental health and their educational studies. Now, I want to ask a direct question. Put your hand up if you had a negative impact on your studies and potentially your mental health. And that shows us that we have some kind of fragment resemblance towards VCE students, as we have already completed a unit one and two subject last year. And in fact, VCE students endured up to 267 days of remote learning during seven COVID lockdowns over the span of two years. And that has ruined their social lifestyle and mentality. I'll elaborate on this. In general, people in the youth stage life cycle have their mental development heightened significantly. This is because there are major changes when transitioning to youth. Now, as you can see from this statistical graph, it depicts that a dramatic increase of 56.2% of ages between 18 to 24 have suffered from symptoms of anxiety and or depression disorders during COVID lockdown, which is a leading cause in youth suicide. Now, as you can see, there is a high correlation of where VC students tend to have more of a chance of being diagnosed with anxiety and or depression disorders than older people, since they are already stressed enough for their VC exams and their social life. And as we all know, COVID lockdowns are sporadic, unpredictable, and most importantly, it has disrupted VC students' productivity in terms of their educational studies and their usual routine, which has created a chain reaction and that has ruined and that has diminished their morale. Now according to some VCE students, extended periods of remote learning has forced them to reconsider their career paths due to the unforeseeable future of COVID lockdowns and its after effects. And also alternating through remote learning and in-class learning has just completely ruined their usual routine. And they have even accepted the possibility of not going to universities altogether, since they see themselves as unachievable due to COVID lockdowns. It's, it's almost as if VCAA is impeccably inconsiderate about the needs of which VCE students are obligated to acquire in terms of their mentality and their productivity and learning. However, there are programs authorized by the VCAA, such as the Consideration of Educational Disadvantage, which aims to rectify lockdown disruptions by boosting VCE students' income scores. But has that really worked? Not necessarily. The CED merely estimates and predicts a student's ATAR score by scaling the magnitude of their misfortunes during COVID lockdown, instead of actually providing the necessary resources and advice that should be given to VC students in dire situations, such as free mental health programs that are exclusively for VC students, which will help them get back on a straight and narrow path. Now to wrap everything up, 
Many BCU students have been adversely affected through endless COVID lockdowns, which has been harmful to their overall mental health, as well as their academic studies, which is especially why BCE students should be treated should be treated with more consideration by BCAA. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you for listening. Are there any questions or comments? Five minutes and 36 seconds. That is a good time. Where's my camera?